Hello, I'm Ryan Harper, digital reporter here with WNCT. Today we're speaking with Sierra Jones, marketing director of Visit Greenville NC. And today we're going to find out her day-to-day -day process, all the setup it takes for Pirate Fest, and much more. Take a look. Hello, my name is Sierra Jones. I am the director of communications and marketing at Visit Greenville NC. Sure. I came to Greenville in 2006, uh, transferred here to East Carolina University and finished my uh, undergraduate degree in uh, history and political science, uh, then took a year off and came back for grad school and uh, ended up getting an internship at the Convention and Visitors Bureau and uh, ended up staying ever since and moving up into a communications and marketing uh, full-time role and am now the director of communications and marketing for the CBB. Yeah, so in my position on my day to day, um, the framework of it is generally the same, but it changes day to day depending on, you know, what's going on that day, you know, just being flexible and being able to pivot and and multitask is really important. Um, you know, I handle everything uh, for our office, our website updates, uh, our social media presence, our um, advertising and marketing media plan. Um, I help facilitate and recruit travel writers to come here to Greenville to do fam tours. So I'm planning that and going out on trips with them. Um, mostly that was prior to COVID and we've had some since, but um, it just kind of changes anything, uh, communications, marketing, public relations related, I handle for our office. So um, all of that and then um, various projects uh, that we get to work on, like developing our destination guide and our Pitt County Brewing Q Trail, um, video projects, all things like that. It's it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a different challenge every day, and that's what makes it so much fun and exciting to do. I don't know. I think it's not really surprising, but the interaction that you get to have with visitors when they call or when they uh, come by our visitor center, it's it's not really surprising, but it's always a, a good surprise for me to be able to educate somebody about all the things that we have to see and do. I, I always I always get surprised. It surprises myself like, you know, they didn't know about this restaurant or this local farm or something like that. So I think the surprise is being able to surprise them with all that we have to offer here in Greenville and Pitt County. I think that's a really pleasant surprise and really enjoyable for me. Yeah, so during COVID, at least um, the first uh, part of it, like in 2020, um, you know, we were all working from home and, you know, learning how, you know, to not learning how, but, you know, getting used to working remotely um, with our staff and with our partners across the, the city and county and the region and state and beyond. Um, so it was really a big adjustment for that. It all worked really seamlessly for all of us. Um, not being able to travel and have that face-to-face -face interaction uh, with our partners um, across various organizations in the industry and as well as have that interaction with the partners at our uh, local businesses and attractions. That was really hard adjustment, like to get used to not seeing people and, and having that face to face interaction. But overall, I think everybody coped with it really well and did what we needed to do to get through it. Um, um, as far as how it's really affected us and, and what we've been through, you know, we obviously saw meetings and events and sports tournaments, you know, the first part of, you know, 2020 um, really come to a halt. You know, there were no meetings or no events or no festivals or no sports really going on. But as things have started, you know, trending in the right direction COVID wise and, you know, regardless of the variants, you know, things are better than they were um, during 2020, obviously. Um, you know, we're seeing youth sports tournaments have were the first thing to come back. And then our, you know, leisure visitation, outdoor recreation, um, restaurants and supporting uh, local eateries and things like that um, have been our big push 
to kind of keep things going until some of these things like sports tournaments and meetings and conferences and things like that can really come back online um, in the way that they were prior to COVID. So we've we've kept things pushing in that direction and really focusing on what was accessible and still you know available to people um, and what we had to promote when that was what we could promote. Um, but you know things are moving in the right direction and. Um, it's, it seems like it's going to keep heading that way. So we're really thankful for that and lucky to be in the position um, that we're in now. Yeah, so, you know, we, we love every restaurant and we love every place in Greenville. So it's not really, you know, we all have our personal things that we like, but, you know, when we bring people here, you know, the key things that we show off, obviously, are our uptown uh, Greenville um, district. We show, you know, everything down, all the great things happening on Dickinson Avenue, everything in uptown, all the way to the river. Um, we're really fortunate to have uh, river access that runs right through our town and our county. Um, a lot of places are very landlocked and don't have that. You know, we might not have a, a wide, expansive waterfront view, but we are lucky to have a river in our downtown and, and in our county. So we show that off um, to everyone and talk about it a lot. All the great things you can get out on the water and do our new parks like Wildwood and River Park North, um, the new uh, NC Museum of Natural Sciences uh, at Greenville and at uh, Continue Creek down in Grifton. We talk about them a lot. So we definitely talk about our outdoor assets. We talk about our local culinary scene with all of our um, independently owned uh, eateries, you know, ones here in, in Greenville like Starlight and Dickinson Avenue public house and Christie's and just Luna and all those places like that. And, you know, um, Brew and Q is definitely a big thing for us. Our, our Brew and Q trail um, is something we uh, promote heavily and show off to everybody and talk about um, to anybody who will listen most of the time. Um, so our craft brew scene, our barbecue scene, um, it's legendary. It brings a lot of people here. So we're always talking about that. So we have a lot of unique offerings here in Greenville and Pitt County. Um, and a lot to be um, to be talking about, honestly. And so we do that whenever possible to whoever will listen to us. And it's it's gone really well. And, and those are the the main things we talk about everything. But but those are the the key points that we try to hit with anybody that we talk to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we get a lot of inquiries from um, people, you know, quite, you know, asking about, you know, what is there to do for kids? Um, what can my family do on the weekends and things like that? And, you know, throughout the county, we have a lot of community based events and festivals, um, like, like you mentioned, Pirate Fest, you know, we have the Watermelon Festival, every, every town in Pitt County has their signature festival and event and all of the holiday happenings that um, everybody throughout the county has during um, that time of the year. Um, you know, and then, you know, free boot Fridays during the fall and umbrella markets during the spring. So every pretty much every week of the year, there is some community based festival that is perfect for families to get out and enjoy or outdoor um, concerts on the common or, you know, on Main Street in Winterville or, or um, in Farmville. So there's live music, community events happening um, throughout the year. Um, and then there's lots of family friendly things to do, like, you know, the Trillium Playground at Town Common or Bricks for Kids or Sawyer's Fun Park. So there's a lot of things like that. Um, and it's you just got to um, know where to look and the questions to ask and everything. And I would certainly direct anybody who's looking for information uh, to go to our website, visit GreenvilleNC.com um, and, and kind of look through that for for things to do and inspiration for um, what to do with families or friends or anybody of any age to check that out. We have a very comprehensive events calendar. So um, we partner with the Pitt County Arts Council at Emerge and Uptown Greenville on our events calendar. So all of our calendars are networked together. So we're always updating that with content. Um, so if there's something happening in Greenville, Pitt County, it's most likely going to be on that website for people to find and, and uh, hopefully start making plans to go to. Yeah, it's pretty much a year long process. I'm on the planning committee uh, for Pirate Fest um, that is mostly organized. The main um, organizations that put that together are Pitt County Arts Council at Emerge and Uptown Greenville. Um, and then the core committee, you know, consists of our uh, representative from our office, which is me, and then uh, people from the city of Greenville and 
um, all the different departments are, are on the larger committee to all come together and uh, make that happen. But yeah, it is pretty much a year long planning process. Uh, we're currently having meetings for um, 2022 now, and that's going to be April 8th and 9th uh, this year, um, all along Evan Street, all the way down to the Town Common. Um, so all the details aren't solidified quite yet, but um, the whole crew is working really hard on it, and it's going to be great to have that festival back and in person um, again this year. We're all looking forward to it and excited for it. And um, we hope once all the details um, get out about that, that everybody is excited and, and looks forward to coming back and, and celebrating all of our, our rich pirate culture here in Greenville and Eastern North Carolina. Sure, so um, I recently completed a professional development and education program uh, with an organization called Travel Unity. Um, the program was to earn a certified diversity travel professional um, credential. Um, and part of that program, um, the program involves six weeks of um, training sessions and education sessions uh, focused around diversity, equity, and inclusion in uh, the travel and tourism industry. And the capstone project to that program was to then write a, um, a comprehensive DEI plan for our organization, um, just sh walking through um, from an organizational standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, and from a community and visitorship standpoint, how our office is currently incorporating um, principles around diversity, equity, and inclusion into what we're doing, how we're marketing, and how we're interacting with visitors. Um, so went through that program um, this past summer and early fall and then uh, spent um, the uh, fall and winter months kind of working on that plan and de developing that and submitted it for approval. Um, and now the next step for us is to present it to our board for final approval and adoption and then we'll start working on that. Um, but it was a really wonderful program. I highly um, recommend that if, for anybody who's interested in um, diversity, equity, and inclusion training and taking a deep dive into that within their industry to, to search out those opportunities. Um, but yeah, it, it was a wonderful program and we're looking at ways to incorporate more diversity and inclusion and equity to make our marketing um, more comprehensive and welcoming to all communities and to make Greenville County, you know, more, um, we are an open and welcoming community, but just making sure people beside, outside of Greenville and Pitt County um, recognize that about us is really kind of the focus. And one of the things that came about from um, the plan that I worked on was we are planning to um, launch a Greenville Pitt County uh, destination DEI advisory committee um, probably in the next couple of weeks probably I would say in the next month or so, we're looking to launch that committee to invite people to come to meetings quarterly that we can discuss DEI topics, hear feedback, hear some ideas we had, you know, and that we have, we want to work on. How is that received? Do you have any ideas? Are there markets we should be tapping into? Are there events that we're not aware of that are happening that we need to know about that we can be involved in and help promote? Um, just bringing people from all different, you know, races, ethnicities, gender, sexual orientation, you know, religious backgrounds, everything to the table just to kind of get feedback on their experiences with our destination and what areas, you know, we can work on from a travel and tourism uh, standpoint and ways we can improve and ideas we can collaborate on to improve in the future. <laughs> 